Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Bodina and I am co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife who's behind the camera, just over there. Have a look. Um, today I am, guess what I'm doing? Guess. I'm um, comparing two wonderful cellos. Um, the Struna Maestro Cello. <laughs> Now these two cellos are very difficult to get. Um, not because they don't make enough of them, I mean they make a few of them, but not that many, but not because they don't make enough of them. It's just that when people come into the shop to buy them and they say, yes, I'd like to take the Heinrich Gill W2, they just struggle to get it out of my hands. I like them. They're really, really nice. So, um, first of all, the Heinrich Gill, um, Heinrich Gill have been making um, stringed instruments since 1952, so it's quite an old German make, um, stringed instrument making company. Um, and they have, I mentioned this in a couple of my other videos with Heinrich Gill, they have some um, stores of, uh, one of the biggest stores of aged tone wood in the world. So they have a lot of wonderful European wood that, at their disposal. Um, and so this one, the W2, is one of their newer models and uses very high quality spruce on the front and maple on the back and sides and it is a very well made cello. It's antiqued but um, only sort of slightly antiqued with some of the other cellos that we get which are um, made to look old. There's scratches all over the place and they they look very, very worn, like they're a 300 year old cello. This more like sort of looks more like a 100 year old cello that's been really well looked after. So, um, yeah, really beautiful. Now, one of the things about the Heinrich Gill cellos, one of the things that makes me like them and decide to stock them, is that um, they tend to have really nice resonance. So the sound continues and continues and continues. Um, and that seems to be more so as they go up the different models. So with the Heinrich Gills, they start with the 304 model in our shop. We have the 304 model, and then we have the W2 model, this one. And then we have another one called the W3, and another one called the X5, and another one called the X7, which is like 18,000 Australian dollars or something like that. Um, I will be quiet and play this one for you and let you listen to the sound of, this, of the resonance of this cello. Sound just keeps going when I take my my bow off the string. sound as well so it's a big sound it rings a lot it's powerful it's the sort of thing that um, that you know I tend to recommend to more advanced students quite advanced students because um, you know you want something that's more powerful so that when you're playing a piece that says double four you know fortissimo or something like that where you have to play really really loudly you can do it on this and you can play the tiny little pianissimos where with an instrument that is not as powerful sure you can do the pianissimos but you can't necessarily get those very very loud fortissimos and so you have um, a smaller dynamic range with um, some cellos. This one had quite a big dynamic range, so that's really good. I'll play it one more time and then I'll head over to the Struna, which is a very different cello. <laughs> Very 
very strong and ringing. Very focused on the, the top as well, which is slightly different to this one. This one's a Struna Maestro. <laughs> of seven years of my cooperation with uh, an amazing maker in China and we make these as copies of very 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 old cellos and so this looks really really old this is one of the ones that I was talking about uh, lots of um, scratches and also well not so much scratches but more sort of the wearing away of varnish with time this sort of varnishing also helps with the sound because it allows the wood to vibrate the way it wants to um, the other thing about this Struna, compared to the other Strunas, this is more sort of like the very top of the range of the Strunas. Um, it uses Italian spruce on the front, which is very high quality Italian spruce, uh, and it allows a sound which is very sort of full and mellow but powerful, and it uses very nice Bosnian maple on the back and sides as well. Um, now the difference between these two as far as sound goes, and you could probably hear, the Heinrich Gill was much more sort of, it was quite focused on the top. I'll play this A string on the Heinrich Gill again. Gill again. <laughs> Struna Maestro. Um, and so this has sort of like a warmer, rounder sound on the top, which is really nice for cellos. Um, but the, the Heinrich Gill is sort of slightly more penetrating on the top. Now that's two quite different sounds and um, it would be, there are two cellos, like I could imagine you would have some people who would like that sound more and some people that would like this sound more. They're, they're very different but both very high quality sounds. Um, I would say the best thing to do is to buy both of them. Because, you know, if you can't choose, it's just better to have both of them. Um, now, I'd like to thank everyone who has made comments in my previous videos. Thank you very much. Keep it up. And don't forget to subscribe. In the end, I mean, these two cellos get the thumbs up from White Horse Music. <laughs>